Hi, my name is Shahir, and this is my capstone about how the process of producing beats has changed over time. Regardless of the genre, whether it be pop, hip hop, R&B, or even metal, every song has something in common. What is it, you may ask? Why, it's the fact that they all have rhythmic patterns in the background. These are also known as beats. Beat making has undergone a significant transformation over the years. The first drum machine was invented in 1930 by two men called Leon Thurman and Henry Cowell. It was called the Rhythmicon. It could produce 16 different rhythms, each associated with a typical pitch, either individually or in a combination. Unfortunately, there was only one copy of it in existence, and so it was not available for sale to the general public. The contraption in this video is the first commercial drum machine available to the public was invented in 1959. It was massive in stature and generated its sounds mechanically through a rotating disc, similar to a music box. It was sold for around $400, which is equivalent to over $4,000 in 2024, meaning that only the wealthy could afford it. Back then, you had to spend a lot of money on professional equipment if you wanted to create beats. Additionally, operating the machines were also technical since they were hard to learn. Nowadays, anyone with a device can easily produce beats. No experience or additional equipment is necessary. I will prove this by creating beats myself with no prior experience and with no equipment except my laptop and iPad. So this is my first attempt at creating a beat. There were many different producing softwares I could have chosen from. However, I decided to go with GarageBand as it was free, while the others were extremely expensive, being around $200 each. Additionally, I heard that GarageBand is good for beginners due to its simple layout, and so I decided that it was a good idea to start off with it, and then I could potentially go and try out another software once I get a bit more experienced and actually know what I'm doing. Now, I will be adding additional aspects to my beat from before, as I only had drums previously. I felt that the beat was too simple and lacked something. This should hopefully help with that.
For my third beat, I decided to switch from Mac to GarageBand's iOS version as I found it easier to use since it had a simpler interface, along with features such as sampling other songs being more accessible than the Mac version. Next, I will be adding pads into my beat, which are sustained notes that are used to provide harmonic depth in the background. If you have just the drums, the beat sounds extremely basic and empty. Adding pads helps to balance the sound out and makes it flow nicely. What I learned from this project is that making beats is relatively simple. All you have to do is download a producing software and watch a few tutorials. However, making good beats are still challenging. Although my latest beat is much better and it includes many more elements than my first, it is still not nearly as good as I would have liked. Next, how did I learn? I learned by watching guides on using GarageBand and figuring things out by myself through experimenting with the software. Lastly, I showed my learning through creating this entire project and showcasing the beats which I made. Thank you for your attention.